Amanda says she's been working very hard to get her children back. She says she has a job and is off drugs. Now, at the break, I asked Amanda if she would take a drug screen, and she said yes, uh, she would. So we asked uh, Ellen Curtis, a registered nurse, to administer a drug test today. So, Ellen, you administered the test, correct? Yes, I did. And uh, tell us what the results were. Was she positive for uh, anything, and if so, what? Methadone. Uh-huh. Benzos, marijuana, and Adderall. The Adderall. three things I told you yeah. I would be. Uh-huh. Uh, so benzos, Adderall, methadone, three things and been on. marijuana. Marijuana. And do you, what do you have prescriptions for? I have prescriptions for all three. Uh-huh. And why did you not provide those to us? Well, it was last minute. I can call and get that. Well, no, it wasn't I mean, last minute. It was last minute. No, My it wasn't been, last minute. Um, it is when you don't have a car and you're trying to get everything done. And you're smoking dope. That's well, not my favorite. Well, I, I had told her about that. Oh, There is I, that. <laughs> yeah, there, there was that. But, I mean, I was honest. I gave you guys a test to prove I'm not doing anything. I told her. I yeah, told I, you right when I got out of jail that I had smoked. <clears throat> I told you you were sitting right there. The thing that... I'm concerned about is you're, you're continuing to play the victim and say that all of your problems here are because of your mother. And I haven't heard you one time for one minute say that you are at all grateful that someone is housing, feeding, clothing, supervising, nurturing, no, I've, I've and always loving said your that. children. I am grateful for that. Okay, so what do you want her to do? I want her to give me my kids and leave me alone. It's not up to her. No, but she needs to stop interfering. There are two children whose lives hang in the balance here. You've got a daughter who is alienated right now. Mm -hmm. She's alienated from you. That's a terrible thing that relationship needs to be healed. Right. You have a son that is beginning to model very aggressive, yeah. uh, out of control behavior, using language that um, is rage-based, uh, aggressive language at four. Right. And let me tell you, when people come to me with kids that are 15 and 16 that are knocking holes in the wall and storming out of the house and wrecking cars, and they say, he just, I don't know, just all of a sudden. No, that, those are the kids that were acting this way when they were four. Mm -hmm. okay. Only difference when they're throwing a tantrum at 15 or 16 is they're bigger and stronger and they're able to come into conflict with outside authority instead of inside authority. If you want to be a responsible parent, you will put their interest ahead of your own, you will put their interest ahead of your own, and you too will figure out a way to reunify those children with you. You too will figure out a way to coexist and co-parent or stay to hell away from each other. Yes. And if you cannot, if you cannot come into her home and treat her with dignity and respect, then you need to stay out of that home. It's just that simple. And if, if you need to get a restraining order to enforce that, then you need to do that. Those children need to not hear another exchange the way they have been hearing so far. They should not see what they have been seeing. And if that continues, you're subject to losing those children as well. Yeah.